Ladies and gentlemen, we are less than four weeks away from the cross-brand spectacular, the Royal Rumble. This might be my one shot to get the WWE Championship. And in a break from tradition, I've decided that if a SmackDown superstar wins the Royal Rumble, he'll get a shot at the WWE title at No Way Out just before WrestleMania. Hmm, pulling a little Eddie Guerrero. That means that the Rumble winner could go on to WrestleMania as the champion, guaranteeing him the biggest match and biggest paycheck of his life. Two things I admire. I have chosen the 15 superstars who will represent SmackDown in the 30-man Royal Rumble. And over the next few weeks, we'll be having a series of matches to decide the order of entry into the Royal Rumble match. The idea is simple. You win matches, you get a higher number, and enter later. If you lose matches, you enter the Rumble earlier. And you know, Taz, the higher your number, the better chance you have of winning the Royal Rumble. This is what screwed me over in that Battle Royal. I had a really low entry number. I need to get a higher entry number to win the match. You're absolutely right, Cole. Not for nothing, these SmackDown superstars are going to be fighting it out for number 30. Yes, we are. Although, couldn't a Raw superstar technically get number 30? Like, how would that number 30 thing work? And now... Y'all saw who my opponent was, right? You know what time it is. This guy is unstoppable, Taz. Two consecutive victories have propelled him to number 21 in the Royal Rumble entry order. He's in good shape for sure, but he better not get too cocky. Yo, looks like we've been having the same kind of luck out there. You guys look good out there tonight. Good luck in the Rumble. Yeah, whatever. I'm just glad that my entry number's so close to you two losers. I figure that's two easy eliminations right there, Holmes. Yeah. I did okay tonight, Holmes, but I could really use a hand next week, S.A. That's right, S.A., like we talked about before. Orale, Holmes, so I can count on you for some help next week, huh? Great. Thanks a lot, Holmes. I really appreciate it. What the? Is he actually asking Eric Bischoff for help? Nah, that can't be it, Cole. There's got to be another explanation. Well, I hope you've got one, Taz, because I don't. You guys have been sticking pretty close to each other in the Royal Rumble qualifying matches, so I thought we'd shake things up a little bit with a no-disqualification triple threat match between you three tonight. Whoever wins advances in the entry order. Whoever gets pinned or taps out drops a few spots. The third man stays at the same position. Good luck out there tonight, gentlemen. Oh, thank God, finally. It's a Christmas miracle. We finally, it took us this long to face more than like three or four of the same opponents. And now we finally, or at least on SmackDown because Raw doesn't count. Finally, we're going to have a very risky triple threat match. Winner gets the number 30 entry in the Royal Rumble match. Loser drops a few spots. The guy who doesn't get pinned or submits just stays there. Whew, we really want to go for the win here. Up against Eddie Guerrero and Dr. Thugonomics version of John Cena. This guy would end up being the face of the company. Let that sink in for a moment. Can't even hear what he's saying. Like, I mean, he's trying to rap about something nice, I'll bet. God rest his soul. Coming out in the lowrider, of course he is. What? Mmm. 
Bring me back to the days of UPN. Seeing Agro and John Cena doing their thing. Look at Eddie. Doing the lowrider gimmick. That's still pretty cool, even for video game standard. I like that. They did a good job with Eddie's entrance. Go let you two do good out. Let me just go on ahead. Cheese a little bit with my taunts. Gonna just enjoy this match a little bit. Have the crowd uh, really get behind me all while seeing these two suckers duke it out. Oh. That's supposed to be the five knuckle shuffle. Okay. Oh, he's doing it again. John Cena just trying to end Eddie Guerrero already. Oh, wait. Hey. Hold up. Whoa. 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 Is that, this, this supposed to be no disqualification? Hey, Cena. Hit me. Oh, okay. All right. I didn't realize this was supposed to be no disqualification. Okay. Since you guys want to play that way. All right. Here we go. Make things way easier for me then. Okay. I didn't realize there was no disqualification. Where's the... What? Shawn Michaels? What? What is happening right now? Ah. Hey. Boo. What is this? Look at these cheaters. Oh, I can't get it because I have to use the other chair. Oh, that's dumb. Alright. Well, Shawn Michaels is going to make getting out of the ring a little more difficult. Boom. Boom. Come here. Come here. Right. Nope. Damn it, I'm here. CJO. Boom. Ah. It's destroying Agro with this sledgehammer. Nope, Eddie. Ah, damn it. No, get him. Get him, please. Oh my gosh, we got tables and barbed wire and everything. Stuff's getting crazy out here. And we got Shawn Michaels on the outside. This is insane. Make life definitely a little easier. Yeah, let's double team on John Cena. Put John Cena through the table. Pile driver, boom! They don't do pile drives in wrestling anymore, and part of that's for a good reason, but also kind of not really. I mean, Cena hit him with the FU, or I'm sorry, the AA. Oh, here it comes attitude adjustment slash FU. Boom. Oh, and hey, let me go on ahead and steal your pin, sir. One, two, we did it. Yes, we pinned Eddie Guerrero. Wow. That was totally cheesy, but hey, we did it. Also, I do want to apologize for skipping ahead a little bit and just showing you the cutscenes, but again, it's the same people. That's why I really didn't want to do this. I wanted to kind of hurry up this uh, story a little bit more. So at least we got that done, but... There we go. Oh, look at this. Shawn this Michaels. is just disgusting, Taz. Raw superstars have no business interfering with SmackDown matches. I can't believe it either, Cole. It's like the Royal Rumbles come early. Ridiculous. Do I still get the number 30 spot? I still get the number 30 spot, don't I? Right? Right? What was that all about, Bischoff? Why did one of your superstars just interfere in one of my matches? Well, you see, Kurt, you haven't done such a good job of keeping your superstars happy. And just a few minutes ago, one of your unhappiest superstars teamed up with a member of my show to teach two of your top stars a lesson. Now, we both know that his contract is up right after WrestleMania. So just imagine if he won the WWE Championship retained it at WrestleMania, and then signed with me? My ratings would go through the roof when he showed up on my show and dropped your piece of trash title in the garbage where it belongs. I can't believe this, Taz. Eric Bischoff is conspiring to steal the WWE Championship from SmackDown. You know, it's like Joey Numbers would say. This looks like an inside job, Cole. I've got the feeling this is all going to blow up this Sunday 
at the Royal Rumble. But I still get the number 30 spot, right? Or are we just gonna ignore it? I, I guess I still have the number 30 spot. I don't know, but it is time for the Royal Rumble. It is time for one of the biggest matches of my life, which I am going to do next time on the WWE SmackDown vs. Raw walkthrough. Yeah, we're just going to stop here for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like on this video, comment, and subscribe if you want more WWE SmackDown vs. Raw. Click the bell next to the subscribe button to get notifications as to when a new video comes out. Also, check out my Facebook page as well. And until next time, you guys, I will see you later. All right, guys, peace. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care, everyone.